Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a quick update on those little beds that I posted just yesterday. Uh, since I posted that, I've had a couple of questions that I thought I'd better answer in a video. And then also, I decided to make these little tiny ones to show you that you can make any size that you want. So these are the three beds that I made today. And these are the ones that I made yesterday. Alright, so one of the questions was, can I use drywall instead of the wood filler that you used in your video yesterday? And the answer is, absolutely, you can use drywall. You can use clay if you want to. Uh, the only issue I had with drywall was the concern uh, with the joints. And I'm going to address that further into this video that you're watching. So I did use drywall on this bed here. So this is drywall, and you can see it worked out perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, wood filler was easier to use for these little tiny ones. So yes, you can use drywall. And then the other uh, thing left for me today was a friend of mine suggested that I tell you to measure out your bed according to the doll size. And absolutely, I had said that you can make these any size that you want to make them. I have a little mouse coming into these ones here. And I know there's going to be room left over. If you're making this for a particular doll, make sure that you measure out the bedboard according to the size of your doll. So you want to have a little bit of room left over in the length and a little bit of room left over in the width. Alright guys, let's head into the update video. So this is not a redo of yesterday's video at all. I'm just going to give you a couple of tips along the way. And the how-to video should be up on your screen already. It's that little circle there. It will also pop up on your screen at the end of this video. Before we get started, you don't have to ch choose the same shape that I've done here. This is just a simple shape that I put together because that was the look that I wanted for my tree doll house. You can do square corners, you can do bed posts, you can do fancy shapes, you can do whatever you want with this. Absolutely. I just chose something simple and wanted to pass along how I've done it so you can get yourself some beds made too. Alright, let's head into that update. Alright guys, I'm just waiting for some glue to set here. So while I do that, I don't know why I didn't tell you this yesterday. When you're making the headboard and the footboard, of course you want them to have the same shape. So when you uh, cut your headboard, when you get your shape that you want, and it can be any size, like I said, any width, any height that you want, make another piece out of the same one. Okay, so now that you have two pieces, to make your footboard, just cut off the height. Then that way you don't have to be messing around with with the uh, trying to get the shape right. Anyway, there's a little tip for you. So now I'm making these little tiny ones, and you can see I'm using a McDonald's uh, coffee box. But because this bed is small, I'm only going to cut two pieces for each side. So yesterday... When I showed you the McDonald's coffee box for this bigger one, I cut three for each side and the bedboard as well. Okay, so and this little super tiny one, I just cut one. So the thickness is also going to depend on how big your bed is as well. All right, guys, popping in with an edit. For these little tiny ones, I used a coffee stir stick and I actually cut it in half as well uh, because it was too. The width of it's too high for the bed posts. I found anyway, you can do whatever you want, of course, with yours, but I'm just telling you what I did so you don't use a popsicle stick. I used a coffee stir stick for this one. Coffee stir stick for this one. And this one I used a popsicle stick. And I didn't cut it down. It's the same as the ones that I made yesterday. Okay, so we're going to try this drywall compound. Drywall compound is definitely an option. So these little guys here were done with wood filler and I did two coats just like I showed you in the video yesterday and the drywall I did the first coat let it dry and then I did the second coat and let it dry. And for all three of them I used an emery board to sand uh, on these little tiny ones. Oh, it was much easier than using actual sandpaper to get the emery board exactly where I needed it to go. This was uh, ideal to use. Okay, and the drywall sands super easy. So just be careful when you're doing that, uh, when you're sanding, because it will bring it down really fast. So you got to just keep an eye 
and it's really easy to do you don't have to worry about it but just make sure that you're not taking down parts that you don't want to so, like I said much easier to use an emery board okay, I have sanded down my drywall bed and the only issue like I said is if this went to a small smaller child not a small small child because those little people should be playing with like little tykes or something something that they could bang around but an older child like say a six or seven year old who maybe slams things down I'm not sure that would hold up the wood filler would absolutely you could bang this around all you want and I don't believe that would fall apart but this one if you pull on the end boards it could separate here I think so anyway I don't want to try it because you know I just I'd rather keep it intact but that's the only issue other than that it's totally fine and it works really well I've actually sculpted with drywall so I want to show you something this I'm a Harry Potter fan and I made a, a wand a couple years ago and this is actually just a stick from my dad's property just a regular maple stick and I I just whittled down the end to a point more of a point and then this would be right here would be tin foil and tape and then paper towel over that now the only reason why I'm using paper towel over the tape is because it gives me a nicer surface to sculpt on top of because I know a lot of people think it's like you have to use the paper towel you don't have to use it it's just a personal preference I like sculpting on top of paper towel I like that surface it gives me so this would be uh, tin foil tape paper towel and then drywall and I was able to do these little bits in here with just using a, a little knife and then this part up here of course is tin foil again anything that's sticking out here would be a tin foil tape and then paper towel and then I used my drywall over top of that now this is a super strong wand I could bang it around and it won't break nothing's gonna happen to this nothing at all I'm not worried about that that could be roughly played with the only thing I'm worried about when using drywall is where you join pieces together like on this bed other than that it's perfectly fine and it works wonderful I love it actually I love sculpting with drywall I wouldn't suggest it if you're not used to it because I mean it takes a lot of layers and you got to dry in between layers um, but yeah doing basic things like this totally fine and works wonderful okay now I'm gonna paint my beds now I am painting my little beds and this one I did put some crackle medium on it I didn't put too much I actually put a very thin coat I just want to see what we're gonna get here and this is that vintage chalk paint it's called vintage I love it now I just put a very thin layer and I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I haven't tried it yet the thing with the, this crackle stuff you don't want to overwork it Now you can say you actually watched paint dry. <laughs> look at that. Now you can make this look really amazing and that's why I sent you over to uh, Bentley House Minis because she does a really good job with this. I tend to overdo things like on my bed. I'll show you my bigger one here. On my bigger bed with the same color so yesterday I had put a lot of that crackle medium and I had really big cracks and it wasn't really the look I was going for so I painted over certain parts again and sometimes three times like very lightly to get rid of some of those cracks so, like you can see I'm not an expert at this stuff I'm just I do things until I like what I see alright I'm gonna finish painting these guys and then we'll come back and see what we got so this little tiny one I just went with white and then I tried to replicate the chippy look that I got with this one yesterday and this one I didn't do any crackle or anything I just painted it a cream color okay this one I'm gonna measure out for you because I know you're gonna to want to know look at that it's exactly an inch and I did not plan that out that's hilarious okay that's an inch long half an inch wide and the tallest headboard is just about three quarters of an inch tall. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video, and I'm sure there's going to be an update once I make the bedding. I did try a little uh, mattress for this one. All I did was just 
roll up material and glue it <laughs> glue it together and then I did this one here but I kind of messed it up a little bit so I have to go back to the drawing board on this one yeah so I'll probably be doing another update on these little tiny ones and I'll make some bedding and some mattresses and all that good stuff all right guys I hope you had fun and we'll see you super soon